everyone, welcome to the Brain Physics channel. Now, I brought up before that, um, I think in my last video I said that, or in the last two videos, I mentioned that I'm going to start pulling these stumps. And it's a different way that probably nobody's seen before, or if they have, it's just been in passing. I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos on it, but I'm going to show you exactly what I have here. And cool, you can see the reflection. I'm going to show you not only um, how to do this, as but I'm going to kind of explain the physics behind it. I'm going to try to keep it light, you know, because I went to school for physics for way too long. But anyway, I'm going to try to keep it light. This is just a simple system. We're going to assume that it's, you know, there's no mass to the rope and there's no friction in the pulleys and blah, blah, blah. So we're assuming a perfect system, which it is not. So with that being said, I'm going to flip the camera around here. I'm going to show you what we have and kind of explain how I'm going to do this. Okay, so starting here, what we have, just so everybody can see this, we have, these are pulleys. Okay, free spinning pulleys on there and they have uh, a grease fitting on, on the other side, but right here, right? So you have these pulleys. Now these pulleys are good for, if you look upside down, 10,000 kilograms, 22,000 pounds. Okay, I have eight of them. So I have eight of these pulleys. And in order to join these on, and they split apart here real quick so you can get the rope in and out. They, they open up all the way. Um, so that way you can get the rope in and out and they close back up. And then what you do, instead of just putting a hook on them or something, I'm gonna use these D-ring shackles. I have four there, four there, and another two up here. These I'm gonna have specifically for the uh, rope. So that way it doesn't wear, wear the rope down very much. What we have here, these are called tree saver straps. They're like toe straps, They're three inches wide. They're, they have a 30,000 pound capacity, you know, and I got four of them here. And what this is going to do, and this will make more sense uh, but I'm going to use them as for an anchor point on an anchor tree. Well, the anchor tree that I'm going to use is a tree that I want to keep. And if I just throw chains around it, then it's going to strip all the bark off and really hurt it and just make it, you know, deform it and look ugly. So we have the shackles. We have the, um, the, the well, they're toe straps, but they're called tree savers. And then all of these pulleys, and they're all uh, 10,000 metric tons, which is 22,000 pounds. And then I have, this is winch rope, synthetic rope. Now this synthetic rope, it may not look like much. This is three eighths inch, but this is actually stronger than what steel cable is that you use on winches. Um, and I got two of these, they're both hundred foot long. I haven't even taken them apart yet. Um, the only problem with these is they have a hook on one end, which is fine, but on the other end, it just has you, well, you can't see it, but it's just a tab. Well, you can't use that tab. So what I have is I have some ends coming so that way I can cut those off and then re-splice it. So if anybody wants to know how to splice an eye hook onto a cable, I'm gonna be doing that probably tomorrow. And then this is just rope. It's a uh, 400 pound, 500 pound breaking. That's actually nylon rope, that's not synthetic. So, but both of these are synthetic. I have another synthetic one, it'll be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna have a total of four ropes all together. So this is the system, this is set up. Everything's here except for that one other uh, synthetic rope that's coming. So how is this all gonna work? Well, I told you what these are for. You wrap them around an anchor tree, two anchor trees or whatever. And the reason why I have multiples is so that way on the really big stumps, I can split the pulley pulling force amongst two or three or four or whatever straps. So that way it's really easy on the tree. And also, like I said, these are rated for 30,000 pounds and I have some stumps here that 30,000 pound rating may not be enough. So I might need to use a couple of them, double them up, triple them up. Um, yeah, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to get right into it here. So... I went ahead and just drew up a little, uh, a little something to help. So what we're going for, first of all, I don't know if people understand this or not, but for example, you're standing, let's say I'm a little over 200 pounds, 210 pounds, something like that, right? So as I'm standing on the ground, the ground, I'm putting 200 pounds of force onto the ground or on whatever I'm standing on. But at the same time, whatever it is I'm standing on is also putting 200 pounds of force. It's called the normal force, putting 200 pounds of pressure on me because there's no movement. You know, if, if that equilibrium was off, like if I was putting 200 pounds of force down and there was no force below me, well, I'd be falling then. Or uh, the same way, if I'm putting 200 pounds of force down and it's pushing up at 250 pounds of force, then that means that I'm going up in the air. Something's pushing me up in the air. So I'm putting 200 pounds of force down. It's putting 200 pounds of force up. Now the same goes with tug of war. So when we're looking at a tug of war here, you're putting a hundred pounds of pressure. Let's say you're pulling at a hundred pounds uh, with a hundred pounds of force. 
and the other guy's pulling with 100 pounds of force, well, you're in the stalemate. Nothing changes. You stay right there. Okay, no problem. Everybody with me? Okay, that works just fine. Now, when you have tug of war with a tree, and this is what where some people get confusing, you're putting 100 pounds of force, right? Let me grab a pen here. You're putting 100 pounds of force, and it's easy to think, well, the tree's not doing anything. Like, no, the tree's actually putting 100 pounds of force back away from you. That's why there's no movement right there. Okay? So, like I said, if you had, let's say, if you're putting 100, 100 pounds of force and the tree was only putting 90 pounds of force, what that means is that the tree would be toppling over or coming towards you. So it has to be equal. Okay? Now we're going to do a two-person tug-of-war with a tree and a pulley. So you, and this doesn't have to be a pulley, this could be a fixed point. But let's say this person is pulling back at 100 pounds and you're putting 100 pounds of pressure on. So you, so you each are only feeling 100 pounds of force. However, the tree is altogether feeling 200 pounds of force back. I drew this arrow the wrong way. Back in this direction. So yeah, you're only putting 100 pounds here and he's only putting 100 pounds here. But the tree is actually feeling 200 pounds. And... Let's go up here. So now we're going to do the one person tug of war here, right? So you have one person pulling right here. He's pulling, putting 100 pounds of force here. But this, since this is a, a frictionless pulley, which it's not really, but we're going to call it a frictionless pulley, then otherwise the math gets really hard really fast because uh, then you have static friction, kinetic friction, depending on whether you're moving or not, and that changes. So differential equations, not fun. Um, so anyway, you're, he's putting hundred pounds of pressure back and the tree is also exhorting hundred pounds of pressure back in this way. So you're putting 200 pounds, the same as the previous drawing. You're still putting, this tree's putting 200 pounds on, you're putting hundred, this is putting hundred. Well, the problem, well, let's go down to this next one. So pulling stumps with a pulley, just one, same thing. Now the problem is, so this is a stump instead of a tree. So I want this stump to come out anywhere I see stump. I want that to come out. I don't like him. Okay. So I know, I know that from class using a pulley amplifies my force, but you have to do it the correct way. So I set it up like this. And the problem is I'm putting in a hundred pounds of force. The stump is feeling a hundred pounds of force. This is the tree. The anchor tree is the one that's actually feeling the modifier. Okay. So it depends on where you put it. You can't just put the pulleys anywhere and think it's going to work. It just doesn't work like that. So then we're going to come down here. So instead of having the pulley right here, as, as in this one, instead of having the pulley right here on this tree, we swap it over to this tree right here. To, not to this tree, to this stump. And then do 180. Well, okay, so now we're using this tree as an anchor point. Right, so now this tree, so I'm pulling, putting 100 pounds of force on. This tree is putting 100 pounds of force on. So now, there we go. Now we're seeing the, mod, the multiplier here. So I'm putting 100 pounds. The tree's putting 100 pounds, so this is actually seeing 200 pounds of force on this stump trying to pull it, and it's trying to resist in this direction. And then we come down here, and like, well, what happens if we use more? That's why I said stumps with pulleys right here. So now we have an anchor tree, and now we just keep adding pulleys. So we're anchored here to the stump, and then we come around one pulley on the anchor tree, back around another pulley on the stump, and then down here, so now you see... I have 100 pounds, and then it goes around this pulley, and then this is 100 pounds, okay? And then it goes around this pulley, and then this is 100 pounds. So now I'm putting in 100 pounds of force, but the stump is actually seeing 300 pounds. One, two, three. 300 pounds of force in the other direction. You guys can see where I'm going with this. Well, what happens if we do more? Okay, I'm going to try to hold the camera a little bit more steady here for you. So now I'm just gonna kind of walk through this. So now the same thing, you're anchored to the stump and you keep adding pulleys and each time you add a pulley, there's 100 pounds of force. So you see down there at the bottom, the person is putting 100 pounds of force. It goes around one pulley, adds another 100, another 100, another 100, another 100. So altogether, that stump is seeing 500 pounds of pulling force. You're still only putting 100 pounds in yourself, but it's seeing 500 pounds of force coming out of it. So as you see, I wrote there, 100 pounds of force applied turns into 500 pounds of force to pulling the stump. And that's what we call a mechanical advantage. And the mechanical advantage of this system is five to one. Okay. Now, every time you add a pulley into this system, 
every, let's just put it this way, because if I add one more, it's just going to redirect it. But if I add two more, I'm going to increase the mechanical advantage by another two. And if I had another two, then it'd be another two. So if I had two more pulleys, it'd be a mechanical advantage of seven. If I had two more after that, it'd be a mechanical advantage of nine. And what that means is that for every foot that I, for every hundred pounds that I pull, a uh, hundred pounds of force that I pull, it puts not, you know, 900 pounds on the stump. Okay. So now this is a simple system. Okay. It's straight up. You just add more pulleys back and forth. There's one anchor po point on both sides. So that's your simple system. Now what we're going to do, and this is probably where I'm going to start this weekend because I have an anchor tree. Now I'm not going to actually be pulling it by hand. I'm going to try it first, <laughs> but just to prove how strong I am, but no. So you see the top part there is all that. So it's a four pulley system up on that tree, you know, the, the top part here, right? Where you get the complex system, well, let me just show you right here. So this, this is still the exact same as up there. So it's giving, I'm sorry, it's a five to one. So it's giving us a five to one mechanical advantage here. Okay. So now what we do here, so 100, normally right here, then this was a person pulling. Well, what if instead of having just a person pulling, you have another system here? And what you do is you anchor it uh, to the end of this rope. You start with an anchor point around this rope, and then you get a second tree, a second anchor point, running around just one pulley there and another pulley here. So you're just adding two more pulleys. That's it. You're adding two more pulleys, and now you're pulling here. So now I'm pulling still with 100 pounds of force which means that this, there's 100 pounds of force here. And since it's anchored, anchored here, it's another 100 pounds here. So now my 100 pound force is 300. So now instead of having, like on this system, up here you have 100 pounds of force. Well now basically you have 300 pounds of force, which means that here there's 300 and here there's 300, 300, 300. So now you have 1,500 pounds. Well, we're making a lot of headway there because you're only putting 100 pounds in. 100 pounds isn't a whole lot. And you're getting 1,500 pounds out. And you, again, you won't get that much because you have to, you know, there's friction in these. And also there's an angle, this angle between here and here. Since it's not parallel, that reduces it a little bit, but not by much. Okay, and then here, so you see 100 pounds of force applied turns into 1,500 pounds of force to pulling the stump. So that's a mechanical advantage of 15 to 1. Now here's the caveat to that. Now that means that this rope right here, this guy is going to have to pull for 15 feet before it moves this one foot. So that's where your mechanical, your mechanical advantage. So you're going to have to do, you're going to have to travel 15 times the distance in, uh, as this one right here. So keep that in mind because now that means we need at least, you know, if I want 10 feet of travel out of the top of the stump, that means that each one of these will need to travel 10 feet. That's 40 feet. All together at this point that it's going to have to travel. Actually, I take that back because it's a five to one. So it's 50 feet. Well, okay. These are 100 feet long. So that's no problem. So that's no problem to get that. Now, that's why I only put two right here because now we're looking at a three to one, which means that now this one's going to need to move 150 feet. Well, I don't have anything that long, but we're going to keep going with it. Uh, because what I, what my plan is to basically do this and then reset it. Because once you break the stump loose here, the initial bit, it might only move it a couple feet, you know, three, four feet at the top. Well, that's enough to break it, break it loose effectively. And then I can take this guy and this guy out of there and just pull it straight here with, you know, a five to one, uh, a five to one system. So that's what we have going on there. And then my last one here, and that's, um, the most that I think I'm going to have to do this time is this guy right here. Now, this is a seven-pulley complex system, okay? And again, we have the same setup right up here. So that's a five-to-one. And then it comes out here, and then you have the anchor point, or anchor point right here. And then it goes around here. And normally in the last one, in the six-pulley system, then right here was where the man was put, putting 100 pounds of force on. Well, we're not going to do that. Now we're just going to do one more anchor point right here, going around a pulley here. So now again, you have the 100 and 100. So it's putting 200 pounds right here. Well, this 200 pounds and this 200 pounds and this 200 pounds. So now you have 600 here. So now that you have 600 here, then you have 600 here, 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 and here. So one, two, three, four, 
five. So that's 3,000 pounds of pulling force. So now remember, I'm still only putting 100 pounds of pulling force in, and I'm getting 3,000 pounds of pulling force out. And so that's a mechanical advantage of 30 to one. Now, I don't think I'll need to use this much. I'm gonna start with a six to one. I'm not even gonna do this whole last part here. I'm gonna start with the six to one. But now what this means again, you have to move 30 feet. This guy would have to move 30 feet in order to move the other end by one foot. So this is, I have, this is another 100 pound foot, so that, or 100 pound rope. So with this being a 100 pound rope, if I used every bit of it, that's three and a third, which means that I would only move it three and a third feet all the way here. So the top of the stump would come over three and a third. Now that's actually a pretty good amount. That's still enough to pretty much break everything loose. And it could always be, I could reset it and everything else like that. So I think that's going to work. Now also, I'm not going to probably pull it. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to just use, because it's raining right now, which means the yard's gonna be kind of soft. And that's kind of why I've been putting it off. You want the yard soft like from a rain, so that way the stump isn't quite, isn't anchored quite so hard into the ground. But the other problem is if I were to take my tractor out, because my tractor weighs 6,000 pounds. If I were to take my tractor out, I'm just going to put all kinds of ruts in the yard and I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to try to do at first, I figure my, uh, I have a John Deere riding lawnmower, nothing special. It's just a riding lawnmower, not even a zero turn. It's a 40, what, 48 inch deck or something like that. It probably has, if I had to guess, three, 400 pounds, 400 pounds of pulling force. Well, 400 pounds of pulling force at a 30 to one, that ends up being 12,000 pounds of, of pulling force by using the lawnmower. Well, 12,000 pounds, that'd be like taking two of my tractors, tying it around the stump and, you know, like, and you know, if, if this was turned at a 90 degree angle, it would be just think about like two, tr two, um, yeah, two tractors dangling off of one point. That would be the force on the end of the stump right there. And I'm pretty sure that's good enough for most of my stumps. If not, then I'll go up to the car. And then if not the car and the car doesn't work, you know, cause then I could probably get a thousand, 2000 pounds. And if that doesn't work, then I'll go all the way up to, uh, then I will get the tractor and just deal with the ruts later. I really don't think it'll get that far because I don't have any stumps that are that big. Cause I've seen guys pulling, I've seen some videos, go, go to YouTube and watch. But you'll see some uh, YouTube videos of people using uh, not even a 30 to one, but using like a six to one, an eight to one, you know, something like that and pulling these massive stumps out, um, like way bigger than anything that I have right now. Cause everything here on my property pretty much is softwood pine. What I'm doing this weekend isn't gonna be softwood pine, but it's still, it's relatively small. It's a bunch of Bradford pears and then a Royal Empress tree. If you guys know what that is, Google it. So. That's the system. This is the most complex that I have now. I have eight. Uh, now I do have eight pulleys all together. And what I could ultimately do is come back here to this simple system, right? And instead of just doing two and two, I could actually put six here. So put another one here and here. So that'd give me a six to one, or I'm sorry, a seven to one on this, uh, on this one right here. And then I could use two more pulleys. So that'd be a seven to one. And this would be an eight uh, times three, that's a 21 to one. And then right here with another two, that'd be a 42 to one, that mechanical advantage. If I wanted to do that, I don't like that. A 42 to one mechanical advantage is so high that I just don't think I'd ever have a need for that. But, uh, but I'll have the ability to anyway. So I'm gonna leave this off here. If you guys have any, I'm gonna be doing these videos this weekend. If you guys have any questions, uh, subscribe to the channel, give me a like, give me a comment, something that helps YouTube, helps uh, the algorithm in YouTube bump me up a little bit. So, now if you could, uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, whatever you can, be much appreciated. And I'm going to do a whole uh, a playlist with all this stuff because I one thing I do have on this property is a ton of stumps that are need to be pulled out of the ground. So, I have enough... I have enough to do probably 50 videos at least of doing this. So if you like this, go ahead and let me know. Hope everybody has a good week and we'll see you this weekend.